Hi, my name is Dylan, and today I'm going to show you how to install and configure the new subscription extension for the Cell Media plugin. This extension allows you to sell monthly and yearly subscription access to your photos, videos, and other digital files. For example, you can set a price point where for $5 they get access to one download and at $10 get access to three downloads, and so on. Let's get started. This is how your website will appear. The Choose a Plan button is located to the right of every photo for sale on your website. This button takes buyers to your pricing page. Where they can choose between a monthly and a yearly plan. As a seller, you control all plan terms and pricing, which we'll look at in just a little bit. Once the customer selects a plan, they will be asked for their payment details. After paying, the customer will be redirected to the customer dashboard, where they can start downloading their files. Customers are billed every month or year based on the plan they are subscribed to. Now let's take a look at how to set all this up in WordPress. It's incredibly easy and there are only a few requirements. First, you need to have a self-hosted WordPress website. You cannot use WordPress.com because it doesn't allow you to install new plugins. If you need a self-hosted WordPress website, click the link in the bottom right of this video. Next, you will need to have the Cell Media plugin installed. You will also need to have the subscription and Stripe extensions installed. Finally, you need a PayPal or Stripe account so you can accept payment on your website. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through downloading both the subscription extension and Stripe extension. You get both of these extensions by clicking the link in the video or by visiting graphpaperpress.com. Visit the customer dashboard at Graph Paper Press and download both the subscription and Stripe extensions. Next, log into your WordPress website and make sure that Cell Media is activated. If it's not, just search for Cell Media on the Plugins page and it's the top result. Visit the Plugins Add New page and click the Upload New button. Upload the Stripe extension, then activate the plugin, and do the same exact thing for the subscription extension. Once you've got both of these extensions activated, you'll need to apply the Stripe keys. In order to apply the Stripe keys, you'll need to go to Cell Media, Settings, Payment, and scroll down the Stripe settings, and this is where you'll enter the Stripe keys. I've already got them entered, but in order to find them, you'll go to Stripe.com, go to the Customer Dashboard, and log into your account. Um, go to your account, Account Settings. API keys and here they are and you'll just copy and paste them into the boxes right here. After the subscription and Stripe extensions have been activated and you've inserted your Stripe keys, visit the Cell Media, Settings, and Subscription page. This is where you configure the subscription terms and plans for your store. First, select the page that contains the price and plan subscription shortcode. If you haven't created this page yet, do it now. Then come back here and select it from the list. Do the same thing for the dashboard page. This is the page where customers will see their plan details and downloaded files. Next, decide if you want to sell both subscription and single sales and set your sale preference here. Now it's time to create our plans and pricing. Let's create a total of six plans, three billed monthly and three billed yearly. Set the number of downloads allowed per month here and price here. Do this for all three monthly and all three yearly plans. Below the subscription pricing area, you'll find the email settings. The subscription extension sends four emails to the customers, an activation email, an expiration email, a download limit email, and a cancellation email. You can control here. Once you're happy with your settings, click Save. The final step is an important one. You need to copy the URL here and paste it to your Stripe webhooks. Go to your account, account settings, webhooks, and paste the URL here. That's it. You're done. Pretty easy, right? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.